friends and fam. I'm so excited for my next recipe here, which is the Cambodian hot pot, which is called Yao Han. And what we're gonna eat it with is different type of meats, cuts of meats, seafood, vegetables, rice, you name it. You can eat it with anything. And it's a really savory, sweet broth, which is made of more of coconut milk. But I'm so excited for you guys to watch this video and then try my recipe. All right, so what we're going to put in first is the krung. Krung is a Cambodian curry ingredient that has like longa, kaffir lime leaves, but other, other ingredients like herbs and stuff. But we're gonna put just a little bit in first and then I will probably make a video of how to make krung because it's a very good thing to have in the freezer. So, and oh, forgot to put some oil. Add some oil. All right. Okay. I might just add a little bit more. It's looking like half a cup, and it's here liking. So let that saute for a little bit. And over here, we also have this Chinese barbecue. Good. Smells so good already. So this Chinese barbecue sauce is what we use for the base and it comes with some oil. So always add some of that oil in there so it gives it a little bit more flavor. This is going to be a messy part if I don't do this gently. Okay. So Chinese barbecue sauce, I would use half the can. And that's all I have left is half the can. So everything is going to go in. Alright. Get all the good stuff in here. And saute this for maybe a good three to five minutes. And you also want to add like a clear lime leaf and then lemongrass too. You're just kind of like warming this up, kind of toasting it. So what I'm going to do is add one can of coconut cream or coconut milk. I prefer the Maid Floy brand and oh my god. Alright. Oh. So for the hot pot, it's not going to be this thick because you have to add coconut soda and some um, chicken stock. Some people add beer like Heineken and stuff, but nah, I don't really like that flavor. So it's the Coco Rico, about two cans, some fish sauce, and some chicken broth. We're also going to add some soybean sauce. There's soybean paste and stuff too, but our market didn't have it. So you just have to compromise and use something very similar to it with the same flavor. And it still works out fine. Can you guys smell it already? Mm -hmm. I can smell it. You can smell it? it smells good, huh? Mm -hmm. oh. So with the coconut soda, um, it makes it a little bit sweeter. But I did forget to get palm sugar. Palm sugar is something that we normally put in here too to make it um, more flavorful, more sweeter because this is kind of like a sweet, savory broth. But again, coconut soda, coconut ri coco rico does the job. We'll substitute, um, we will substitute the palm sugar for just regular sugar, coconut sugar whatever we have in the pantry. All right. Just want to stir it here and there so that way you get rid of all the clumps. Alright. And, oh my god, my fear right now is pouring this. Okay, guys. One, two. <laughs> okay, it's good. 
All right, I'm going to use the whole can. This is three pounds, 49 and a half ounces of chicken broth. So I'm going to mix this in here. Can you see how like the color kind of looks a little golden brown and mm, that coconut milk? So let it boil. And um, right now you can add, you know, your fish sauce, your sugar. If you want to make it spicier, just add some chili in there. But I like to dip my chili, so that's how we're going to eat it. So let me add a little bit of the fish sauce. About one ladle of this for now. And then coconut sugar, sugar. Yeah. We're substituting today because I forgot the palm sugar. So it's pretty authentic still. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to substitute it with coconut sugar. It's closest to palm sugar. And it's pretty healthier. Alright, and then this is six. So we're going to do six for now. And then um, let it boil and we'll taste it to see if we need to add more fish sauce. I say that slowly because I'm going to get tongue twisted. A little bit more fish sauce. It's already good. Alright, another full spoon. Mmm. And as long as the broth is hot, it doesn't really have to be like super boiling. You can already like put it in the hot pot and start eating. of Make It Judy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to click the notification button. And please don't forget to make it a little Judy in your day. Thank you guys again. See you later. And don't forget to make it a little bit of... Bleh.